Viesti here about this tech and today I'm going to be covering Samsung Pass. I'm inside the Galaxy store and as you can tell there are three updates. There is an update for Samsung Pass, right? But also an update for the autofill function for Samsung Pass and also an update for the authentication framework. I'm gonna give you a bit more context what Samsung Pass is and then I'm going to update everything and I'm gonna show this in action. Samsung Pass actually helps you store your passwords, right? But not only your passwords, it can also store your biometric data like the fingerprint and etc. And you can use this to authenticate, which is quite, quite easy and nice. The autofill with Samsung Pass works in the very same way like the one from Google. So let's say you check your email and then you save your username and password every time you go to that web page or any other page, the Samsung Pass will give you access to your password, but then also protected by your fingerprint, right? Or with something else, which is quite convenient. And then this everything else really is the authentication framework. So what I'm going to do right now in this video, guys, I'm going to hit the update button. Once everything is updated, I'm going to start Samsung Pass and show you all the functions. The thing is, I'm using myself the Google Autofill, but I'm going to be moving to Samsung Pass because it has really clear advantages, specifically when you're using a Samsung phone. And I want to show you guys these advantages to you if you are like me, a Samsung user. After the installation, you're gonna get something called Samsung Pass. Now open it, right? And this, by the way, is the latest version. You can already see that I'm not able to enter Samsung Pass without using my fingerprint to perform the authentication. By the way, I'm using the One UI 4.0 on the Android 12. So if you want to have really a very good understanding of all the new features, don't forget to check this video. And if you're here for the first time and you like content like this, then I think a sub will be much appreciated. Thank you guys. All right, now back to Samsung Pass. This here is the main menu, right? It gives you the option to select the autofill function also to be performed by Samsung Pass, because right now I'm using Google, right? And down below, you can just see your IDs and passwords. Use biometrics for quick, secure access to apps and services. It will show you how many apps, passwords, and websites passwords are added here, but you can also go and manually add it. Sign in name, my email, my user ID, my password. And you see how this is going. Private info. You can also use the Samsung Pass to store other private information, such as credit cards, notes, addresses. So you see where I'm going. Samsung Pass really is like this full-fledged service for storing your credentials, but it goes a bit beyond that. Let me just show you guys the options. I'm gonna click on the hamburger menu, right? I'm gonna click here on the settings, and you guys are gonna be now blown away because it really has so much to offer. Down below about Samsung Pass, this is the latest version, 3.0.0.1.1, right? So make sure that you're using the latest version, and now let's review the settings. First thing on the menu is account and syncing. Inside, you'll have access to your Samsung account. You can use verification with the Samsung Pass and you can also sync with the Samsung Cloud. And actually, this is what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna make sure that all of this data is securely synced within the Samsung Cloud. Then, and this is very important and probably also the main difference, biometrics to verify your identity. And you cannot use Google Autofill to do this on a non, let's say, Pixel phone. So I have here the fingerprints, but you can also use your face, which I don't recommend, but in in case you want to try it out guys, some of the applications can be protected also by the face unlock. Then you have some personal information. You can see all of your devices using Samsung Pass. So when you click here guys, you can see this is my S21 Ultra. Previously used S21 Plus phone, the S20 Plus and yeah, I have a lot of, or used to have a lot of Samsung phones. Then you are allowed to download and erase your personal data. You have an option to access your payment methods. So remember that you are able to add your cards there. So if I would have added my credit cards or my debit cards, now I can go here and I can delete this. Now guys, something important, import data, right? You can also import data and you can import images, you can import videos, audio, and all of the other files and they'll be protected. Now there are some limitations. If you click on images and you try to import a JPEG file, you're gonna get a message that it cannot import files of this type, but you are allowed to import any text files and other files that you can 
potentially protect them. You have also export data to the phone, right, which is quite nice. And you have to be very careful when using this option because uh, we can export your IDs, your passwords, your cards and everything, which is really personal information to my files, which I don't really recommend unless you know what you're doing. Then you have the general sections with the notifications. Click on the notifications here. You have two options to allow sound and vibration or to deliver quietly. And you can also remove the app icon badges. Inside notification categories, right, you just have the general notifications, right, but this probably can grow with time. And last but least, we have the about Samsung Pass option, which I showed you. Now let's go back on the main screen. Select auto fill with Samsung Pass in the settings to use this one, right, so this time I'm gonna change from the Google auto fill to the Samsung auto fill. How does this work? Click here on settings, right, Outfield service. You can use Google, which is my default right now. I'm gonna go and try to use Samsung. Make sure you trust this application. Okay, of course, I mean, it's Samsung, right? So I still do need to identify or verify myself, right? And now I'm already using the Samsung Pass. Now, every time I am to access a website, this is the application to be used. Now, every time you log in somewhere, you'll have the option to save your credentials using Samsung Pass. And then what's easier, they are gonna be protected with your fingerprint and you know, Samsung really are using a very reliable technology and not so it's a very secure thing. And guys, if you like videos like this, don't forget to sub to the channel, hit the like button. We're gonna be catching up in one of my next episodes. Please you and your family stay safe until we meet next time. With that said, VST over and...